Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Isaac. Today we're jumping in just for a regular run. I decided today I just want to play as good old Tainted Maggie because she is quite a fun character and in this scenario we can do some interesting stuff with the sack room here so I'm gonna do exactly that and try and play it to its fullest potential if I can. Obviously I don't want to die but it'd be pretty cool if we could get a payout from that early on. Um, I didn't realize that Maggie started with a 0.75 damage multiplier. That's kind of interesting to see. Uh, this is guaranteed uh, secret rooms, I think. I can't remember how this guy, if this guy fires explosives or not. I, I don't remember. I'm going to leave him for a hot minute and, and see. I think he just does tar balls, right? Okay, so at the minute he's just doing that. I'm, I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't explode. Obviously, he is explosive. Yeah, that's not an explosive. I would need him to pop up right here, which I think is pretty impossible. He'd need to pop up in the exact right place for this to work. So I'm, I'm not going to gamble on him doing exactly that. That's going to be a little bit difficult. Um, and do you know what? Speaking of, um, what do you have no patience for? What's something that people do or that you see online or in games that you just have no patience for? And I'm sure you guys probably already know what my answer is going to be. But I have absolutely no patience for iframes in like, uh, like, like hosts, for example. When you fight enemies in games or you fight bosses and they have like an invincibility phase that is just mostly unnecessary or, or like... You could have easily killed the enemy by now, but it has to, for some reason, be invincible for a short while. Man, I have absolutely no patience for when that happens in games. I'm just, like, absolutely done with it. It's it's so annoying. Okay. Well, those two managed to kill themselves very nicely for us. Ooh, very good item to get here. Very, very good item indeed. I'm going to try and rush back before my heart depletes here, but we'll, we'll see. Ah, I depleted. It depleted. I kind of have a feeling it would, but there you go. Hey, we got the angel teleport. What do we get here? Making the sacrifice is a 50% chance to spawn a friendly orbital ghost. The ghost now drops eternal hearts instead of half soul hearts when they die. Interesting. Interesting. That's actually a really, really good trinket for us to get here because uh, we get some double money from the AVG and stuff. Right, so I'll grab that. Seems interesting. Um, and I will use Yumha and proc that again, and I'll leave it for now. But yeah, this spawns money when we use it, and apparently bombs. I've never had it spawn a bomb before, but it, it spawns less and less money over time, so you can't just do this forever. Really? That's that's a little trolley right there. I did not realize it could spawn other stuff, I'll be honest. I, I, I did not. I did not realize. But shop here is plausible. Um, it's a bit of a bit of an eyesore, this one. And like I said, it does give you less and less money over time. But I am going to spam it for a little bit here just because we have um, we have this counterfeit penny trinket here that's going to work for us. It's just going to be a little bit of time. I'm, I just want to get myself up to 30 cents so I can afford two items. And then we'll just kind of hold on to it. I've never held on to this thing long term. So I don't really know if it's good long term. Maybe it resets every floor. I've never held it past one floor to be honest. Ooh, got a half soul heart there. It's kind of nice. Lovely. Managed to get an extra heart there. And heal up a little bit there as well. Very nice. Okay, you two are going to be slightly annoying, but I gotcha. Extra keys. This has been a good floor so far. I don't know how good this item's going to be, to be honest. This item doesn't feel like the best of the best for us. Just because, I don't know. I'm not going to be using sac rooms that often. But, I mean, I will when I can. But, like, when they spawn, I've got to be at the right HP and in the right sort of scenario to make it viable. It's not going to be something I can do all the time. Just put it that way. Right, um, in here, we got good old George. I like George. Um, and we'll carry on. Yeah, George here is going to allow us to get um, extra red rooms on occasion. I'm pretty sure we're here for secret room, right? There you go. And a crawl space as well. Not the best of the best... Uh, Secret rooms here. I will destroy these fires. Realistically, I should be grabbing the hearts, but I'll destroy these fires because why not? There you go. I was hoping we'd get a heart back, but I was kind of more so hoping for more money, but we got a little bit. We got a little bit. Right. We're in a good scenario, I think. We're in a good scenario. So we got boom and boom and boom. And then Seraphim, I forget what Seraphim does. Uh, Ser okay, Seraphim's just the uh, Sacred Heart shot. Pretty good, pretty good. I was kind of hoping it'd be a contact damage baby that we could run into enemies with, but it's not so bad. 
Oh my god, I, that's not what I meant to do at all, if you couldn't tell. Dude, I did it again. <laughs> Can you stop doing that, good sir? I didn't, I didn't realize that when he moved, he left a portal behind. That's a specific thing with this version of this, this, this guy, right? It must be. It must be. But yeah, I do want to do normal runs a little more on occasion, because uh, people have said that obviously my runs do tend to be quite powerful, and it's not much of a challenge, and I do want to do more, more sort of challenge runs as well. Um, range up is pretty good for our, our um, hugs. Um, I do want to do more challenge runs as well, so if people have specific challenges, they want to suggest like things that I can do to give myself items to make the game a bit harder, I'm also very, very down to try those out. Um, definitely. Uh, but yeah, like, I, I don't just want to be doing super overpowered runs. So doing just a regular run where we just try and play the game is good. The, the difficulty realistically is that thumbnails with overpowered things in it just get more clicks. And you can't always guarantee you're going to get a powerful run when you just play a run. So it's 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 a double-edged sword, really. Um, we did get our red room here. Little gish. Not the best, but our red room is going to be, okay, not much good. Good. Easy. Easy. And we're getting extra charges through those red rooms too. And those red rooms have the chance to end up being, um, what's it called as well? Uh, special rooms, which is kind of nice. Do you know what? The fact that I can spam this while I'm attacking enemies is actually kind of nice. It does seem that it hasn't carried over to the next floor in terms of, like, I can't, it hasn't reset the ability to gain money with it. So it's still a bit bad. But um, it's not awful. But I do like the fact that I can utilize it while I'm smashing myself into enemies. That's kind of fun. Yum heart here. And we'll see what's going on through here. Not a lot. We did get a Hagen Daz, which is kind of nice. I don't really know where the best place to use that is. Actually, to be fair, it's probably that room that I was just in. There's a lot of rocks and stuff in there. Although, is there a room with more pots potentially on the floor? Maybe. I'll just use it here and see what happens. Yeah, not much. Not a whole lot. Kind of expected. Oh, that was a bad hit there. Oh, that's a very bad devil deal loss there. That was unnecessary. I wasn't really thinking about the devil deal at the time. I really should have been. Shop again, though. We got plenty of money to work with, so shops are pretty valuable for us here. Converts any trinket into um, the golden on use. Doubles all trinket spawns while held. Plus one look while held. It's pretty good stuff. I like it. This gives us access to a secret room, which I wasn't expecting. That's rather nice. Good, good. That gives us access to another red room. Okay. We got a really good opportunity to potentially get into our um, second secret room. Uh, it's not second secret, ultra secret room on this run on certain floors. I'm, I'm looking forward to that potential opportunity. Smiggity smack. Got him. Right, straight into the boss here. Having the golden counterfeit penny should be good as well. Hey, we still got the devil deal. That's really, really good. Um, speed every 15 seconds. Bit of extra damage. That's not bad. What on earth kind of noise was that? Okay, um, I think we just keep on going here. We're, we're having a good time. I'm going to drink some Vimpto. Very good stuff. Vimpto cordial, though, because I'm a healthy boy. No added sugar, baby. I've just been for a run, actually. It's, it's kind of late for a run, but I just really felt like I hadn't really got my steps in today. I basically sat on my butt all day. So I wanted to try and be a little bit more proactive and be healthy. So I went for a nice little jog around the park with my fiance. It was quite nice. It was quite nice. Right, so we're at the point now with our damage and stuff. We don't need to rely on our hugs. We don't have anything that's on hit yet, unfortunately. Um, I would very much like an on hit effect to uh, partake in with this run. Can't always get what we want. The, the uh, climbing speed, though, is rather nice. The gaining speed every 15 seconds. It's only a small amount, obviously. It's not going to break the bank. It's not going to be crazy, but extra speed is extra speed. Extra bombs. What does this golden trinket actually do? Does it do anything? I don't know. Maybe it just is a guarantee for it to uh, to proc. Ooh, unfortunate. Thought that'd be secret room. 
Twas not. I, that still looks like it's secret room, to be honest to me. Maybe I got it at the wrong angle there. Whoa, 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 whoa. That guy hit me down to like half a heart. What the hell happened there? What the hell happened there? I would like to try do a win streak again. Um, like, but that's just a different series entirely. I don't know how many people would like to see a win streak rather than like the, the modded item showcase stuff. Ooh, Dingleberry and empty book. Dingleberry, goldenified. Excuse me? Wait, what? There you go. Dingleberry Golden spawns two random dips. That's so damn good. That's so damn good. And enemies have a chance to spawn Linger Poison Clouds on death. Chance of proportion to the enemy's max HP. Bomb spawn Linger Poison on Poisoning Cloud on Explosion. Pretty good. I certainly don't mind it. Those clouds do be lingering. We've actually got the speed item early enough for it to make quite a big impact, to be honest. There you go. And yeah, two dips is super nice. What a great trinket to get. Having um, trinket spawns be doubled. The potential with this book is really good. The potential is, is very much there. I like that a lot. You guys aren't too bad, are you? No, not too bad at all. And... Did we lose our angel chance at some point? We must have done. That's pretty good. I think I'll take that. We go for our red room again. Still no ultra, sadly, but we'll get it one day. It will come to us soon enough. I don't think using our active again will do anything. I think it is just a one-time turn things into gold sort of thing. Yay, we got a holy dip. Holy dip is the, the entire reason you want this, uh, the entire reason you want this trinket. Holy dips are so unbelievably strong, especially for bosses. Basically, you walk in, as long as you stay within the holy dips radius, 50% chance to negate damage, massive fire rate boost, homing, damage boost. It's insane. So, so good. Uh, meat, size up, damage up for each red heart container you have. That's actually pretty good. I like that idea. Uh, extra red hearts is always nice. I still forgot to disable the goddamn curses. I keep forgetting to do it. There's a way to do it and I don't remember how. The eclipse curses curse me. Oh my god. Oh, really? You're gonna make me redo the room because you blasted me out of it? That's not fair. And were we just creating a crazy dip army of all various types as well? Jawbreaker is also pretty darn good here. But this trinket is still too good to, to, to quit. Oh, we got an extra library here. Um, do we have anything good here? Gospel marks all enemies by White Cross. If enemy um, already... Max all enemies by white cross. If enemy already marked someone's light beams from above, when marked enemy dies, they shoot light beams in four directions. How the hell does that work? So basically, I've got to use it twice in one room for it to be effective. Is that what I'm getting here? No. Okay. I, I, I'm going to try that out. I'm going to take that with me and try that out. Because the thing is, we've got a, a good golden trinket now. We don't need to keep that book on us 24-7. Okay, yeah, that's 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 pretty amazing. That's pretty amazing. I will uh I will will keep that in the back pocket. Obviously, it's not gonna be amazing for bosses unless they spawn stuff, but dude, three holy dips. Oh my god. Look at that dip. That's so good. So good. Like we're we're at the point now where unless we get like an on-hit item. The lethal hugs aren't necessary. Like, I'll use them on occasion, because why not? But, I don't need them. Oh my god! Oh, we get it with Herming as well because of the little fellas. That's beautiful. Wasn't expecting any Tech X here, but I would certainly be excited to have it. Thank you. Magic Mush. 
Uh, I will take the pill, though. I don't remember what that one does. I don't really know. But this is good stuff, especially if we fire as soon as we enter a room. We're going to fire a Herming Tech X, which is all the more powerful. I'm going to say, I've got to protect my dips, but at the same time, more, more will spawn. Like, they are... They are ready to go again. I don't, I don't remember what the Eternal Sacks do, to be honest. I think they just have different stuff in them, don't they? Slightly different stuff. Use my Yum Heart there, just to keep me going. Oh, man. This is wild. What a great run. Backed by a trinket being made gold and just being made so powerful from that. Um, starter deck's not a bad idea. Oh, this is a sack room. Um, yeah, let's play a sack room here. One, two, three, four. There you go, five, five, six, beautiful, ooh, Trinity Shield is not a bad one for us here, I don't mind that at all, and one last play, that, that allows us to do some cool stuff with melee, on taking damage it gets bigger and bigger, oh man, and we've got this book to go with it too, the Holy Cross build is a... Uh, is stacking up right now. The Holy Cross build is, is something else. I like it. The Holy Cross build is doing, literally doing the Lord's work here. Unfortunately, as I said, our book isn't super useful. On enemies that don't, uh... Oh, hello. Why can I never hit those guys when they first spawn? Don't even know where he came from. Uh, damage up to two soul hearts is converted into burn hearts. Oh, wait, what? Converts up to two soul hearts in your... Okay, that doesn't actually matter because we don't have... Uh, thingy, that's fine. We already got into that angel deal, whatever. This is an interesting build. I like it. The holy beams are here, and dude, yet again, a sack room. And we got these little ghosts dossing around us here, doing stuff. I like it. One second. Right, sorry, we're back to it. So let's keep on sacking. We we, we have a good sack room set up right now, so. Things are going well. I don't, I don't want to overdo it, though. What card have we got here? A flight and triple shot I'm not really going to use, to be honest. Ooh, we've managed to we've managed to increase the radius quite heavily on our, uh, our ring here already. From the sacrifices we've already made. Ooh, beautiful. Oh, they're all bloody, bloody chasey hearts. Dude, these hearts, why did, <laughs> why did they exist, man? So frustrating. But that's actually pretty good for us because we can go and... Uh, Utilize that straight away. I'm liking the amount of sack rooms we're getting. Uh, unfortunately, no payout this time around. It's fine. It is what it is. Yeah, this this is such an interesting setup we got going right now. I, I'm I, I'm kind of I've got a little bit of too good to use syndrome with my book. Like I want to save it for rooms that have a lot of enemies, but at the same time, I feel like I'm never going to use it. Broken Snow Globe. Tears up, shot speed down. I like the shot speed down. Uh, tears have a 10% chance to freeze enemies and deal two times damage. Chance to fire a freezing tier increases with luck. Pretty nice. Still not found that ultra secret room, sadly. Ooh, that freezing's good. Ooh, I like the fact that it makes that thing blue as well. Fanny pack's really good for us. We're, we're taking all the self damage here, so. It works, it works. We need, like, the wafer or cancer, though, if we're going to be hitting ourselves on the later floors. 
So otherwise that gets pretty spenny, pretty difficult to do. So one downside with uh, with Tainted Maggie. Makes it pretty hard to use her gimmick later on. I feel like a lot of the Tainted characters are like that though. See now, I'm, my, my question is here, if I, if I pop this... Ah, I was hoping maybe it'd last long enough to like play into the next wave, but it didn't. That would have been kind of good. If the uh, if the beams of light paused for a little bit and the next wave spawned and then they activated, that would have been really nice, but not quite that lucky. Oh, man. I love this item. It's, it's one of my favorite angel items that I always forget about. It, and it's also one of those ones that's like, it's got an on-hit aspect to it that like you don't really think about, but it's, 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 it's beautiful. So you don't need to get hit to make it good, but getting hit does make it better. Wooden Cross, this is, the, this is the time where I just don't care for you. I just don't care. Got a random half black heart there. Is that from one of our ghosties? Boom. So many beams of light. Still though, I, not getting too many rooms where we can use our book here. I'm mainly using this. Uh, honestly, this is a good idea because we've got so many dips that'll be hard for our ghost to get hit. So I'm going to give it a go anyways. See if we can get ourselves a free angel item. Well, I won't say free. It does cost 10, but realistically paying 10 for an angel item is essentially free. Out we go. The only one that's going to be hard is the trap room one. The trap room ones might be a little difficult. Look at the range on that. Oh my god. I think it's max range now by the looks of it. I'm not entirely sure, but I think it is. There you go. And one more to go. Please don't be a trap room and we'll be good to go. Are you actually... It got caught by that brimstone. That is evil. Whoever designed that one. Ooh boy. There's a special place for you. That's mean. <laughs> because the ghost like lags behind you a good amount. It got caught in the brimstone. They knew what they were doing with that. That's cheeky. Truly cheeky. Look at that. The double. The double. Baby Bender. Not the right situation for it, but thank you. Don't much care to kill you right now. Okay. Let's keep moving along. Do I want to blow that up? Can I blow that up from over the gap? I think I can, right? Yeah. Really? Just a card, the Just a card I can't even reach. Yeah, I just love this idea of, like, <laughs> just so many holy beams, man. No one can have more holy beams than this. Then we've got this, like, protective layer of ghosts around us. Then we've got a trinity shield. Then we've got an army of dips. Like, it is nearly impossible for projectiles to hit us. Like, the only damage we're taking is damage we choose to take. Which I think is pretty funny. Where did that money come from? Oh, I've got some golden dips in there. Oh no, my holy dips died The Eye drops. It is good to get things like eye drops and stuff to get our tier rate better because, as I said, once we get to the womb, we are going to have to get to the point where uh, we, we can't rely as much on taking damage, getting hit and stuff, so... We do need to have those backup plans in place. I like the fact that these ghosts shoot. I didn't actually realize they shot to begin with. Tech X with the carry though. I'm doing this because, like, for one, I want to see what's in here. But two, to get hit to make my ring uh, even bigger for doing holy light. Saying make my ring bigger is not a sentence I thought I'd be saying on video, but... Hey-ho. 
Isaac makes you say a lot of weird things. It really do. Oh, we got card reading. Card reading makes the womb so much more tolerable because you can sometimes skip it. <laughs> I absolutely love that. The fact that you can go straight to the boss. Obviously, sometimes it'll pick secret room instead. But a lot of the time it will pick what you want. Really, that's not, it's not secret room. Cracked key here. That was a really bad hit by me there, but oh well. I left the cracked key and I got tears down. Oh my god, that was stupid. Hey, we finally got one. What we actually got this time? The loaded dice. Oh man. Oh, that, that is so tempting. The loaded dice is so good, but I don't know. This 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 angel setup right now is is satisfying me. I I can't in good faith put this down. Like it just it just feels too right. It's all working in tandem. It's too harmonious. I probably get more use out of the loaded d6 because I'm not using this to its fullest potential, but I don't know. Still, the potential with this. It's just too much fun. What on earth is that? Adds items to the player from all item wisps. If player doesn't have item wisps, a random item wisp is added. Double whiz shot. Alrighty then. That's maybe kind of good for us. In a room like that, it's very good for us, actually. Ah, that shot speed down was so nice. Oh, perfect room for that. The whiz shot was absolutely ideal there. Smart fly, another on-hit effect is not bad for us here. We are sweeping, sweeping through the floors here. I, I really like runs like this when the, like, the items tend to have a distinct theme, because... Like, as I was saying earlier, one of the problems about just doing a run is, like, the thumbnail game is a little harder if you don't get the right items. But, like, on a run like this, the thumbnail is just so clear to me. It's, like, I'm going to have, like, Maggie with a bunch of beams of light around her, which I don't exactly know how I'm going to get because I don't think there's a specific sprite for the beam of light. But I'll see. I'll find a way. What would we get there? A trinket. Spawns an additional devil deal in devil deal rooms. 50% chance to spawn additional devil deal in angel rooms. Ooh. If I had an extra trinket slot, I would definitely take that. That's a really cool idea for a trinket. That's quite strong, actually. Especially the um, the 50% chance in angel rooms. Because even if you go angel, even if you're already locked into angel, you're still getting rewarded with that. Don't you dare hit me, boy. The lasers, like, don't... The, the angel beams don't even get chance. We're freezing things on, on top of it all as well. Beautiful. Another angel deal here. Bit of Polaroid. Lovely. Flight damage, um, plus two until taking damage. Upon taking damage, these stats are removed and you are taken back to the starting room of the floor. Wax wings are re -granted. It's interesting, because, like, I kind of don't want that, but the stats are nice. Like, I don't want it because I am going to take damage and I am going to get teleported back and it's going to annoy me. But overall, I think it's okay. Um, didn't mean to use Yum Heart there, that was a misclick. But we got straight to the boss here with card reading, which I very much like. Where'd my wish shot go? I lost my wish shot. Unfortunately, I don't have any special poops to help me out here. As I said, lots of sentences in Isaac you say that are just not normal. Roid Rage for the speed is kind of nice, although we were actually almost at max speed from our other item. We've been getting auto speed. Ah, sadly no skip this floor, but we do get a secret room early. 
which does give us the world. So we kind of got to skip in, in a roundabout way. In a roundabout way, we got to skip. So we at least know the right way to go. And it was only two rooms away as well, so... Close enough for me. Close enough for me. I've got flight. Well, my, why did I bomb that? Get my beams going. Stand stand in the radius of this fella, because the herming will help us. And as I said, 50% chance to negate damage while you're in the, uh, the wake of this little guy. Oh no, my ghosts are dying, but they give eternal hearts. That's so crazy. That's so wild. I should have just been letting these guys die the whole last time. Um, plus one black heart, 25% chance to fear all of the enemies in the room upon killing an enemy. All feared enemies take two times damage. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Let's go. Up we go. Dude, that was a speedy womb. That is why we like card reading. Unfortunately, we've got secret room again here. I have a bomb to test that with. Unfortunately, this was like right next to the starting room, so we didn't really make any progress there. What on earth happened there? I lost a heart container there. I'm not quite sure why. Was one of my heart containers tied to my wings or something? Maybe it was. Forever Alone is not bad for us here. Golden bombs, though. I shall take golden bombs, thank you. Power throw doesn't help. Ooh, is that a skip I see? Room, I don't understand. It. Why couldn't I bomb through that door just then? Oh, dude, I'm taking some bad damage right now. But it's okay. We're playing as the right character for this. The speed is there to get those hearts easily. Get a slippy bomb on you as well. Ah, no, 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 no. Get gone. The soul heart doesn't matter too much, but again, it's nice to have. I need to trigger, like, get all these, uh, these ghosties around me destroyed. Because if I do, then... Oh my god. If I do get them destroyed... Wait, what's going on with this room exactly? I don't know why I can't kill these guys. Hmm. There was only two buttons, right? Oh, wait. There's, a th there's, there's multiple buttons back here, I see. I did not see those to begin with. That's an annoying room. <laughs> that is an annoying room. Dude, the fact that killing enemy fears all other enemies and then they all take two times damage, that is not a tier 2 item. That is definitely higher than tier 2. Oh, we don't have flight. I thought we had flight. Oh, my bad. My bad, my bad, my bad. It's because I have the wings, but they're, they're, not, they're not wings right now. We have pseudo wings. Right, book, it's your time to shine. Do it to him. We're going to yum heart straight after this as well. Yum heart and it up. Right, boss is going to be a little annoying here. But I should be able to... Uh, Use my ghosties and my shield here to stay relatively out of harm's way. The fact that I can sit with my shield and just proc a bunch of these laser beams on him is really nice. <laughs> it's very strong. I can just kind of get up in its face and chill. There's my eternal heart, thank you. Beautiful. He is dead. Do not go down there. We do not want Void right now. No, thank you. 
Last little room here. Don't drop it. Nothing amazing there. We did get Bookworm there. Magdalene versus Greed. Oh. The teleporting back bit in it, bruh. The teleporting back part of this item is uh, is kind of horrible. Oh my god, oh my god, he is moving at some speed. My HP is not looking great right now. The chain reactions, look at it go. Oh, I love it. Soul heart there. Yeah, see, so we could have been all the way over here already, but the game decided no. The game decided that was not to be for us. We had to get teleported back and around everywhere. Okay, we still got flight at the minute because we got B. I, I forgot we've now got Beelzebub, so. We don't got to worry. Oh, I really should use my book on this room. That would have been satisfying. Even though it's not necessary. It still would have been very satisfying. Was those p pins before smaller and these ones are bigger? Or am I just stupid? Okay. Got him. Oh my god, so much damage to that guy. And Yumheart is ready as well straight after. Good, good. This has got to be the way to the boss. It feels right. It feels right. There you go. Ah, oh, really? Right before the boss, we get the most annoying ass dude. It actually wasn't too bad. <laughs> right, boss boy. Really should have used my axe at a different time there, but it's done now. Unfortunately, we didn't get to bring any uh, cool dips in here with us. I'll be looking for uh, extra charges, please. Please let me laser beam you and do not come at me. Eternal heart there is necessary. Dude, I'm taking way too much damage right now. I could easily die here. To be fair, the last phase isn't quite as hard, depending on the attacks he does. That makes things a little harder. But he moved away from it. Happy days. Trinity Shield is helping so much right now. I think we've got this in the bag, just about. There you go, baby. Hope you guys did enjoy that one. That was a very fun run. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.